Welcome back guys, I'm Gary with Automatic Door and Hardware. We're a manufacturer of commercial doors, automatic doors, and the parts and hardware that go with those doors. If you like learning about doors and hardware, then you come to the right place. Each day we try to do two or three uh, videos related to this. Uh, so if this interests you, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so now for our topic. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how to replace the top rollers on a Stanley automatic sliding door system. Uh, and to help me with this, I brought in my dad, who Gary Sr., who has decades of experience with automatic doors, uh, automatic door controls, and everything to do with automatic doors. Uh, so here he is. Hi, I'm Gary Esther Sr. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, replacing the Stanley top rollers. It's actually a very easy thing to do. Uh, the first thing you'd want to do would be to shut the power off to that sliding door and slide it all the way open. And then you'd have to remove the two screws on the top hinge cover and hinge it open. And once you've got that done, then you'll need a step ladder so that uh, you can get a, <clears throat> up to look at the rollers. You'll need a, a uh, inch and a quarter wrench to, uh, and an Allen wrench also to loosen up that top roller. Uh, what I do when I replace them is I look first at the anti-riser, which is uh, the roller that doesn't roll on a track. It prevents the door from derailing. And I look to see if those are adjusted properly or they might even be missing chunks out of them. I've seen in some instances where people lock those down tight, which they shouldn't be. They should have actual clearance between the top of the header and that anti-riser. And its only function is to prevent that door from derailing. Uh, in most doors, uh, you'll, they should be adjusted properly and those anti-risers will be set properly. And it's pretty simple to replace the roller. You can just go to one roller and loosen it up. You'll need an Allen wrench and a, a large wrench and you can take that roller and shove it out the back of the, uh, once the nut's off of the carriage and slide it out. And then you can simply take your new one and slide it in uh, and put it in the hole and then put the nut on it. Uh, you do have to make sure that uh, you pay attention to the uh, way that, that roller is. There's a dot on the, the actual uh, threaded shaft that the nut goes on, and that dot should be pointing to uh, a specific direction. And just pay attention to that before you you loosen it and make sure the new one goes in the same way. Because the, the reason why is those rollers are on an eccentric, and that dot can either be to your left side or to your right side, depending on which roller you're replacing. Uh, and the, and uh, it prevents that nut from working its way loose. If it's done on the incorrect side, then uh, it could possibly, that nut could come loose in the future. Uh, and so once that roller is in there, and you pay attention to which side the dot's on, uh, then you can uh, put your Allen wrench in there and your nut on there and raise that door leaf up until you're almost touching the anti-riser and then lock the nut down snugly and then take and slide that door back and forth and make sure that that uh, anti-riser up there is not rubbing. Then you go to the, the, the other roller on that active leaf and do the same thing all over again, paying attention to the, the dot on there and uh, loosening the nut up, removing it, knock the roller out, slide in the new one, push it in the hole, make sure the dot's in the correct place, put the nut on and uh, it's the, the Allen wrench that goes in the center of the threaded stud uh, is what raises or lowers the, the active leaf door. Uh, 
And once that's adjusted properly so that that anti-riser is not rubbing, then you can lock the nut down and then check it. And then you go to the other door leaf and do the same thing all over again. Uh, it's a pretty simple procedure. After you're all done, you want to make sure that uh, those door leaves are sealing properly when they close. Uh, and always check the lock. You don't want to have a call back yeah. later and get back out there and it's 12 midnight and they're trying to lock up and they can't because you didn't check the lock yeah. and the, the door leaves aren't uh, adjusted properly. So you always want to make sure that the uh, leading edges of the door are sealing when the door is closed and that that lock does work. If the lock doesn't work, then you may have to uh, readjust the uh, door and even an anti-riser may need an adjustment. Uh, in most cases, they don't. Uh, if you bring them up to almost touch and, and lock it down, you're going to be in good shape. But it is very wise to check that lock to make sure it's functioning properly. Yep. yep. And another note, guys, too, is the thing about the rollers is um, the door panels are attached via the timing belt. And so any kind of stress that the roller experiences, like if the bearing was out or anything like that, it affects the entire door system uh, and can wear out other components. So. You know, somebody might think, oh, you know, my, I probably just have one bad roller. I just want to replace that. Well, always be sure to replace all of them because, uh, you know, they all, if one went out, they all should be replaced. And you don't want that. I mean, it could even affect the motor. I mean, it, if, if your bearing is out and your door's been operating for a long time, now you're putting undue stress on the motor and it's having to work harder. I mean, there's are just a ton of different factors. Uh, so, you know it's one of those items where it's it should be replaced if you have if you've had a stanley door in for you know i don't know how many years and you notice it's acting funny there's a good chance that you know it's about time the rollers be replaced yeah it's always it's very wise to replace the rollers and the guides at the same time uh the, the reason for that too is uh you're saving yourself time by doing that all at one time uh, because you're having to work on the same items mm -hmm. and doing yeah. the same things uh, with that yeah. automatic door. If the door, yeah, if you have to pull the door uh, to replace the bottom guide, I mean, uh, the rollers are right there too. So you might as well, you know, fix it right. And, um, you know, and that's why we do offer our tune-up repair kit. Um, although we do offer the rollers individually, uh, we don't recommend it that way, but we offer our tune-up repair kit, which we offer the full breakout version, um, which comes with two full breakout guides and top rollers. That's for the types of Stanley doors where all four door panels swing out, or we have the fixed panel uh, tune-up repair kit, which is for the Stanley uh, automatic sliding doors where only the two panels uh, break away or swing out. Um, and it comes with the two fixed panel guides and then the top rollers. So all that can be purchased at uh, autodoorandhardware.com. If you guys have any questions about what type of component you have, feel free to send us pictures or email us at sales at autodoorandhardware.com and we can help you. Uh, you just remember we have parts for, um, we have all the parts for uh, any Stanley automatic sliding door system. So. You know, come to us with these inqu inquiries, and we'd be happy to help you. And I, I'll, on a side note too, I would say that uh, uh, if you notice when you're up there working on replacing those rollers, that those top tracks are uh, in the pocket, uh, which could hold dirt or grime or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I've actually pulled those apart, or pull rollers out and the, the bearings are missing out of the roller because it's so shot and they kept running the door without replacing the roller and uh, that pocket up there could have like metal uh, bearings up there and all kinds of debris and uh, it needs to be cleaned out and vacuumed out because uh, uh, if you don't do that then the roller could be rolling along and then bump across yeah. the top of that debris oh, that's yeah. in there and it won't work properly.
Yeah. But that's very simple to clean that out. You can use like a small screwdriver and kind of run it along there and pick it out. A vacuum cleaner works really good to get all that debris and clean it up uh, up there, get it out of there. Yeah, definitely. And after you guys replace those top rollers, uh, you know, the first thing you're going to notice is the noise too. Your door is going to be a lot more quiet. So yeah, uh, ex extreme, a big difference, big 100%. Difference, yeah. So, uh, well, I hope this helps you guys. Um, we're doing a whole entire series on the Stanley automatic sliding doors um, this week and probably even their swingers uh, to help you guys out and to let you know what to look for. Uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you.